stirred for twelve hours, Hello my name is Louise Garcia, a preacher and worshipper in the kingdom of Jesus Christ, my dear brothers I want to tell you an excerpt of my testimony so that your faith can be increased and your courage to seek the things of the Lord be restored, I suffered from an incurable disease, I was a very poor person and couldn't afford very expensive cancer treatment of kidneys, in medical science I was diagnosed with cancer and given five more months of life. This disease was advancing in my body, it was very painful and hellish disease, the day the sentence of death was handed to me by medical science, before it materialized in my body, I decided to withdraw and die in solitude in a farm, I was living a double life back then, I was an hypocrite, since I was to die I took this opportunity to seek reconciliation with the Lord Jesus, when the day of my death arrived I had very little strength in that morning. I began to prepare myself for death, I took the perfume that my mother gave me on my birthday, I wear my best outfit, actually, I wasn't just getting ready to die, I was getting ready to see the Lord, I had an old watch to check the time for this last minutes of my life, since death was imminent, I cried like never before in the middle of loneliness on that mountain, it was half past four when I started to cry in my prayer which was no longer a prayer for it became a supplication, there was no one on my side, I was dying like a child waiting to meet his father at the door, I was not waiting for death but Christ who would come to find me, as I waited in pain I couldn't stand up any more. my legs lost its strength and I fell on my knees, and when I got up I could clearly see that my body was lying on the floor, I saw my lifeless body as my spirit was no longer in my body. My soul became my heavenly identity, all the terrestrial environment around me was very dark for there was no sunlight in the spirit world, the sunlight had no effect on the regions of the unseen world, I saw the reality of our world with spiritual eyes and it was different, I saw that the spirit world was more real than the earth, the only thing that illuminated me was the light of Jesus, the Lord said the one who follow me will not walk in darkness, darkness fill the unbeliever beyond the grave, and there is no light in men, that have fallen nature because of sin, the Bible say because of your sin the earth will be cursed, the light of Jesus shone in my soul beyond the grave, sinful life turn off the light of the Holy Spirit in our soul, when we rebel against God divine light get turn off, and when you die in darkness you won't rise, moment of death is very painful, when I die in the Lord my soul shone like a lamp, and I left the natural world, accusing spirit beyond the grave, brother when I left my body something terrible happened, I saw the ground opening and there came out of the ground two demonic entities that were fallen angels, they were dressed with old clothes, from their vestment emanated a dark light, these demon rose against me and quickly they began to accuse me, the scriptures say that Satan accuses the children of God day and night, my brother Satan will sense his angels to drag us to hell when we fail to separate from his property. These demons came for my soul, quickly I saw that they couldn't come close to me and neither touch me because of the light of Christ that was in my soul, the demons of hell screamed accusations against me, I could not remember the sin that these demon mention, I asked forgiveness of my sin prior to death, the stain of sin on my soul and garment were removed and the light of Christ filled my soul with radiance, brothers, if you live in sin, today is the day you must confess, after death there is no more time to regret and confess, these accusing spirits stood accusing me of sin that were blotted out of my mind, when suddenly two angels of light were sent by God, they told me Jesus heard your prayers for the Lord hears the poor and needy when heart is broken, when these angels of the kingdom of Christ arrived in this place, they drew their flaming swords and pointed them to these accusing spirit that ran away terrified. The angels of God took me by the arm, very quickly we went up at a great speed, everything was dark in space and the second heaven, there was many demons in space but the light that surrounded us chased away those demons, anyone who is in Christ is full of light and when we die our soul is filled with the precious light of Jesus, the borderland of the heavenly world, brother and friend. We were piercing the sky when finally we reached the third heaven, where everything was lit up because the Lamb is the light that illuminates the celestial kingdom. We stood before a massive green field and in the horizon there was a huge wall of giant bricks, that looked like golden marble with thousands of precious stones. 
I saw a very beautiful and massive golden gate, and the angels of God led me in front of the city gate, when we got to the city gate, I saw a very tall angel guarding the gate, he looked at me and said wait here, the Lord God will speak to you, later on. The angel opened the city gate and gave me a book and a kind of very beautiful pen, and he told me, write down everything you will see in this celestial world, because the Lord Almighty God wants you to take note of everything, so that you tell all men about this beautiful place. The angel led me away and we started walking, I could hear a background praise, I saw a very strong light which didn't blind my eyes despite its strength, it was a light that synchronized with my soul for that light was the light of life, I kept walking in the borderland of the city and saw the floor that it was gold like polished glass. I saw mine reflection on that floor, then I saw flowers of various colors these colors don't exist on earth, later, I saw a huge flower that moved in the sound of praise of heaven, there were flowers that moved like vibrating it was an inexplicable place very difficult to explain, how to explain the inexplicable, the field of the kingdom the vineyard of the Lord and the wheat, we got to a field of the heavenly world, where there were some grape vines, I saw very large vine trees with grape in this field, these grape were about a foot, and there were many angels that were coming and cleaning the grape and placing them in a basket, I look and saw one of the angels that took out dried and broken vine trees, and they cut them and put them in a basket, I asked the angel what is this, my companion angel told me, these dried vines tree are leading men and women of God that were planted in the field of God, these are pastors, apostles and evangelists in the field of God that departed from the truth, they dried up, they were planted in this field of the heavenly kingdom to produce fruit, but they have dried up, my brothers, those dried tree were led to the outskirt of the celestial world, where I saw the floor opening up, and dried tree were drop in the place of fire, the bright angel of the Lord told me, these vines tree that are cast in the fire, are people who stray from the truth, they were in adultery, lust, fornication, these men are in lies and robberies, they are taken to their place, the axe lies ready at the root of the trees in this field, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. These dry tree were put in that basket there and demons came to get them at the outskirt of the heavenly world, the Lord said, I am the true vine and my father is the keeper of the vineyard. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes to make it even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you, brothers, we are all trees planted in the field of heaven by God in order to produce fruit, I understood why the angels came to rip my soul when I died. My brother every soul that own a property of the devil gives Satan legality and legal right over his soul, around the city wall I saw a notice and a sign that said the vine that is not clean will be cut and thrown into the fire, what is clean will be left so that it will bear fruits, I warn you evangelist pastors and prophet, what you are offering to God must be fruits of justice, fruits of obedience, fruits of humility, fruits of honesty to God you don't impress God because of your great church, for this does not impress God, having a big church doesn't mean you are on your way to heaven, I asked the angel of God about rotten grapes that I saw in the field, the angel told me these are servant who sold the word of God, they sold the truth, these vine have been planted in this field by the Lord, and they were very beautiful, the Lord made them prosper and multiply them, but there came a time that they prostituted themselves and sold the word, and they will be cast in fire if they do not repent, the other vines that were cleaned were left to bear fruit, brothers this is very delicate, you who have stolen the church for your own pleasure and to have private benefits, I had to rebuke the son of a pastor who bought a Ferrari, I told him you didn't take that money and buy Bibles to give to those who don't have and Venezuela, we don't have Bibles brothers, God wants us to be different, you will know them by their fruits, which are not miracles, big churches, TV channels. The angel said to me, take notes in this moment I noted that there were many souls who are about to fall in the fire if they don't regret, we were moving in the field of the heavenly world, we came to a very beautiful field of wheat, I entered this field and when I looked at the wheat it was golden, and the angel told me look and see, I saw a poster that said, the harvest is ready, 
I asked the angel what are these weeds. The angel said these are the valuable souls that God planted in this field. I was walking around taking notes and listening to the praises of millions and the sound of violins and applause, I heard this angel telling me we had to go to another place, meeting God in heaven. The angel said to me see and write down everything, quickly we got to a hill a very high place, I saw a very tall and very beautiful figure that was approaching, he came towards us, his eyes were beautiful there are no eyes so beautiful like that, this man approached with tears in his eyes. He stopped next to me, his shoulders were wet and, without knowing who he was I asked him why are you crying, he told me, have you ever seen a crying dove? Have you ever seen a crying fire, have you seen a crying wind? These things are symbolism of what I am, they are just symbol, have you ever seen a crying person? I said yes, the Holy Spirit said I am a person, I am God, I am the Holy Spirit, brothers the Holy Spirit is a person. He is not a method nor a strategy of evangelism, he is God and he feels pain when you humiliate him, he cries like a child when we offend him in our walk, note that with our sins, iniquity and wickedness we are attacking and saddening him, this is an offense, when you call his miracle false you are humiliating him, brother, you cannot bestow the things of God to Satan, be very careful, the Holy Spirit said come and follow me. I have something that you must write down and speak to men, we got down this hill, and we headed to a place that splendid place which was the workshop of God, I saw beautiful curtains that had inscription, Jesus is the Logos, he is the heir of the heavenly world, Jesus is the Verb and the Almighty, everything was created by him and for him and by him, without him nothing was made, the hall of archive and mysteries of heaven, the Holy Spirit led me to a building in the heavenly world where I saw many books, the Spirit of God told me, everything you say on earth are written and kept here, I saw angels arriving from the earth with notebook, where they recorded words and action of men, angels are writing everything down, so brothers, when you speak ill of another, it is written, whenever you speak ill about a pastor it is noted, then I looked at these books I saw that some of them had padlocks, so I asked the Holy Spirit about these books that had padlock, he answered me that these books are locked because these believers have blaspheme against me, there is no more salvation for them, brothers do not affirm signs and miracle from the spirit of God are of the devil, be careful not to grant what God does to Satan, because every miracle done in the name of Jesus belongs to Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit glorify Jesus, when you speak badly against the miracles of God you can be blaspheming against the Holy Spirit you will grant Satan a title that does not belong to him, and this is the dangerous, the devil does not glorify Jesus he glorify himself, I saw many of these books with padlocks and the Holy Spirit told me many of them are still alive on earth but there is no salvation for them, brothers just like doctrines that are made against the Holy Spirit and there are point of blaspheming, this is because of the religiosity of legalism the Holy Spirit said they took me away from the church of Jesus Christ because of their doctrines, their methods and their views, 